Hello everybody, and welcome back to Sarge Plays, where today we are starting a new series. This is Favorite Terrain. This is where I bring on guests and we play their favorite games, exploring what they uh, what they hold in high regards. This is, a, this is a series that I wanted to do for a while, and uh, today, as you can see, we're starting with Bloodborne, and let me introduce my guest. Who are you, guest? I'm a person. How are you doing? Doing good. So that's fantastic. We get to jump. So, we get to jump into Bloodborne today. I've never played personally. I've uh, I've seen quite a pe few people play myself. But, um, I've yeah no, I've beaten it like I'm not kidding, like five or six times. I love this game. <laughs> beaten the DLC like oh, two yeah. or three times. I love it. This will this will be my first real time getting into a Souls like, which is well, which is quite right fun. Place. Um, yeah, it is for me too. Something to note because I'm actually in the middle of uh, playing Dark Souls at the moment. I'm trying that one out. Um, but the uh, combat is much different. Not much different, but like it's it's different enough. This one's a bit more faster pace. So if you've never played this one but you tried dark souls um this is definitely a faster I, I played game. i played a little bit of dark souls probably 10 years ago <laughs> <laughs> all right here is the uh oh man the the editor you can make your nightmare creature here um honestly it it doesn't matter too much you end up wearing cool clothes and stuff later on anyway but oh does this matter origin uh, yes, it does. It depends on what you want to do. Waste um, of skin. Hmm. Yeah, waste of skin. That one's just to make the game harder. Basically, uh, it's like the <laughs> lowest stats you can you, get. You are nothing. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Clone survivor. Um, so, like, um, they they give you the stats on the side. Their strength is it, it, it's pretty much straightforward. If there's a few other stats in there, but since you're just starting out, it's like straightforward RPG stuff. Yeah, um, if you're starting out, this game strength is really good. Skill is harder, but it's really um, how do you say it's uh rewarding? Okay, okay. So let's have a violent past. It starts us out with 15 strength. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. All right, so we. What, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? All right, so, so you're going. Shore. So so you're gonna go to face details. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're gonna go to face details because I want you to go all the way to the bottom. This is something I request all the way. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, you're gonna put on glasses. Go go pick some glasses. I don't care which, but go wear some glasses. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> there we go some sick readers <laughs> this is just a read up close <laughs> all right um so, so we, we don't gotta... have to squint oh okay look at her oh uh, yeah she looks like the oh who is it from uh like harry potter shit oh mcgonagall yeah 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 <laughs> are we making professor mcgonagall we are look at it you all right you want to know what's unfortunate because uh -huh. it's really hard, and it'd be hard for me to even walk you through it, but there is a magical um, thing in this game. There's an, there's arcane builds. Oh, but yeah? They're, but, yeah, but they're really hard. I would I would recommend um, playing through the game at least once. But if you ever did want to come back for a second go-around, um, you can save this to your favorites. What are we thinking for McGonagall here? I don't remember her hair that um, well. Well, it was, was it, like grayish. Was what we had like pretty good, like kind of yeah, just yeah, the... yeah. Okay. That that one's probably the closest. Oh no, we have an RGB system. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Um. White is like all of them. Uh, you can hit the bumper. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go by faster. Oh wow, it's like it's like Tris Marigold color. <laughs> oh, that's um, cute. Oh no, it's like the Joker. Oh wait, no no, we're getting somewhere. Look at us. Yep, yeah, there we like go. It's like gray though, right? Yeah. Uh... I think that's pretty good. I think Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's I pretty think, close. I think that's where we're at. 
Yep. Professor McGonagall. Strength build. <laughs> <laughs> Buff McGonagall is the name. Yeah. Has to be. <laughs> yes, Buff McGonagall. Holy shit. Oh, oh, you know what? Go to age. Yeah. Because you can pick age. age. Yeah. It oh, changes hell the scream. Yeah. It makes it an old lady scream. <laughs> oh, man. Hell yeah. Okay. This okay. is going great. I'm okay. loving this. Okay. Hell yes. There's technically two L's. I don't know if you want to. I think we have to keep one just for copyright yeah. reasons. Oh my god, Let's do this. <laughs> Ludwig's Holy Blade. That's like one of my favorite weapons. I love that weapon. Um. As per usual, I'll point out some of the more important ones as we go along. But um, for Souls-like games, um, a lot of the stories told through like item descriptions and world building and stuff. Okay. Okay. So, so there's going to be some reading if oh, you want to get the story. Like I didn't really know about that my first time going through. So basically, I made it to the end. I got a secret ending at that. Really? And I got yeah, I got super confused because um, my brother he was. We're, like we're, I was playing through, and he's like, "Yeah, there's like, oh, that item. Yeah, if you get three of those, you get a secret um, ending. But you probably don't have them." And then, like, I was going through my inventory. He's like, "Oh my god, you have them! Do it! <laughs> Do it!" And so I did it, but I was confused as hell. <laughs> You're like, "Wow, this this definitely is something that happens." <laughs> I was like, "Um, what does this have to do with anything? Oh. Do you like your friends?" Oh. Do I got an IV have... in? Yeah, you, you're at the doctor's office. You're at the doctor's office. And that's just normal. Your nurse is coming to take care of you. Oh. That's your nurse. Look. Coming to they check handle... your fluids. They, hand... <laughs> they, they handle the blood work, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just gonna take some a couple vials of blood. And then... Uh, oh. there, there, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's an emergency. Well, it turns out I am the Human Torch. <laughs> Fly <Flame> on! Fly <laughs> on! <laughs> oh. They're here to discharge you. Okay. And, yeah, you heard me right. They are. Oh. There's a, yeah, there's a few of them. Hey. Here they come. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to kiss me like that. What do you mean? That's totally professional. It's part of the Hippocratic you Oath. A hunter. No. I'm not a hunter, you're a hunter. No. Alright. So, we're looking good and everything's... Everything's looking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buff McGonagall. Buff McGonagall. Um, L. Two, I think it is the right, the um, yeah, the right. What trigger. karate moves are these? Yeah, karate moves. Um, actually, yeah, you can actually um change Lee. your stance right now if you yeah. See um, if you do that, you kind of. Oh, kinda, okay. Yeah. So it's like a two-handed. Mhm. Mm okay. Cool. 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 I hear flesh. Maybe. Oh. Is that is that another vampire? A vampire? Werewolf? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a vampire. Yeah, go fight him. Um, stamina. Keep an eye on that. Oh, very good. You're dodging. Yeah, there you go. Um, so here's an important thing. Uh, when you get hit, you get a little bit of a red bar across where um you got hit. Um, if you hit them, you will regain health. Oh no, I died. You did die. They're still well, going. The game. They still want. Yeah, it still, still wants. Still oh, wants that to was kill the first you. episode of Favorite Terrain. Thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. We're never playing this game again. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> Executioner's gloves. So oh, man. Oh. But wait, it's part of the game. This is just like Mass Effect. Oh, yeah, exactly like Mass Effect. 
<laughs> this is a Mass Effect like. <laughs> What's a Dark Souls? <laughs> Who? <laughs> hey, look, it's the moon. <laughs> Hi, moon. All right, Whoa. so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh huh. Go uh -huh. towards the stairs. Go up to the boys. You have to poke the boys. Uh. So in this game, you get a gun and a um. Oh hell yeah! Weapon. So you can pick whatever if you want. What's best? Um, I usually take the pistol. It's a bit more precise. I'm um, guessing it's a little bit more agile as well. Yeah, it's a little quicker. So. Here's the thing. There's a cane. Um, there, there is a cane, but that's better as a skill weapon. You oh. went with Buff McGonagall, so stat-wise, you're better off either with Cleaver or Axe. Axe is the best starting weapon. Um, objectively, it scales best with strength. Okay, um, are we doing it then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should probably do it. But again, pick what you want. What, you get that? other weapons as we go. Oh, you get other the, weapons? Like, is it is oh, it like yeah. variations of that, of those three weapons, or is it like no, no, it's very different, different. weapon. Oh, yeah, cool, you cool. you get very different weapons. That's one of my favorite parts about this game is the weapons. So you're gonna hit start. Who is she? Uh, it, go go poker. Arms, so, I'm guessing. Yeah, arms. Okay. And then, all right. So the first two slots are for two different weapons. Oh. If you go over one more, no, one more. Okay. Okay. You hit and that. The pistol. So the um, left trigger is your gun. Bullets are displayed in the left hand screen. Uh, yep, there you go. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yep. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So oh, if you, you if yeah, you switch between yeah. stances, it goes into like a okay. Yep. yep. Okay. 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 And then it goes one-handed axe. In this form, you can't use the gun, but the left trigger does do something in that axe form. Yep, you, you charge it up, it, does a, okay, okay. It, does a, it does a big old attack. Sweep. Uh, that's like the strongest stick move in. Who are you? An abandoned doll? It, it, it's just an abandoned doll. So now you're going to go over to the headstone. A very life-size doll. Uh, okay. You're going to learn quick. Just go poke it. So these headstones will bring you to different areas in the game as you unlock them. Okay, okay. Do I do I go there now? Yep, yep. So you're gonna go back to where you started, and now you're gonna go kick that wolf's shit in. Do you... With your new axe? Is this like a every time you die you go here kind of thing, or...? Yeah, yeah, okay, it's your okay. main... It's, it's your central it's like hub. like the hub area? Okay. Yeah. Um, unlike Shard. Dark Souls, where you just go to a bonfire, this is kind of where... It differentiates um, itself from yeah, the Souls series. Go. Um... With that said, there are lanterns instead of bonfires, so there's still going to be checkpoints. Hey, so look at that. if you walk, so yeah, um, you can click yes or no. In this case, you don't need to go back. What's good, fam? Oh. So again, really important for this game: lock on. <laughs> Hell yeah, boys! <laughs> yep. There okay, you go. okay, okay. Uh, yeah. There's Ooh. items in this room. I'm guessing that means there is an item, like the kind of uh, yeah, goldish yeah, it... thing. Don't worry, I'm gonna be an expert by the time we're done here. Hey, you've caught on really quickly. So far. I hear walking? Probably. Item. So, I'm guessing there's a few different ways I could play this, because there's two doors? Alright, so... That door you can't go through. This one, it's still pretty open-ended, like Dark Souls, but um, it's much more linear, especially this first part. Okay, okay. Um, this is a pretty few much like things. telling you how to play the game, kind of thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and be as like I'll help you out, but like I'll try to let you be as blind as possible. But I'm gonna lead you a little bit in this first part because leveling up is weird. Uh, you can't level up until you gain a thing called insight. Okay. So, we're gonna need to get you some insight so you can level up. 
That's not like a chest over there, is it? Uh, no. Oh, it's a coffin. Um, I see. Yeah, no, this, it's very Victorian game. Um, it's very much, there's a lot of HP Lovecraft influences. Um, just in, like, a Victorian style. Um, remember locking on. Very it'll helpful, be, yeah. Yeah, it'll be very helpful. Oh. It just tells me that there's enemies there. Yep. Oh, missed. <laughs> I can see why it's very powerful. Yeah, no, it's like, um, honestly, um, especially when you get really good at the game, like, you're better off just, if you're trying to get through and trying to get a specific weapon, you're better off just picking the axe. No matter what stats you pick, you so can like, pretty much take out all the bosses. Oh. So I got a ladder. Yep. So, like, how far would you say it takes to get, like, new gear? Is it, like, getting past the first area, or you can get new um, gear within the first area? You can get some within the first area. Um, it starts cropping up more um, after the first area. Oh, listen. Aren't you excited to know what that is? Buff McGonagall's always <laughs> excited. <laughs> She's always excited. Look at that smile. Alright, alright. Oh, there we go. Alright, you figured it out. Alright, so you're actually going to go to this window here. That That's a window, that's a door. No, 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 What's go back. No, no, go back. To your, like, right in front of you, where that lantern is. Yeah. Hang up. Go up to it. Oh. You're gonna meet Gilbert. Gilbert? And Gilbert. One from around here either. Either. And Gilbert. Oh, you Gilbert. Outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted. This man is just lying up against the bottom of the window with a bottle of bourbon. <laughs> yeah. This town is cursed. I wouldn't Whatever say it's cursed. Like I'd say it's little. Plan a swift exit. I feel like the infrastructure could be, can be gained updated. From this place, it will do more harm than good. Um, so if you talk to him one more time, he does have a bit more of dialogue. Okay. And it's supposed to kind of direct you, but... Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing charge. The church controls all knowledge on mm. blood ministration and all varieties blood of blood. Ministration? Across the valley to the east of Yarnum so, lies the town. So, again, Do all I know is the ministration of, of magic. Ward. <laughs> Deep within Cathedral Ward, the old Grand Cathedral. <laughs> the birthplace of the healing church. Special blood. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm just imagining Professor McGonagall. Going through Victorian <laughs> horrors, yeah. Yeah. Um. Alright, so, I don't know how I much I want to say about... there's going to be somebody who's going to jump at me from the left. This looks very open. Oh, no, not from the left. Woo. Um, basically, the general idea right now is that, um... Gilbert's they, coughing they a lot. <laughs> they, set, they found some blood um and it seemed to be um magic blood that cured a bunch of stuff um but now all the citizens have become these things these things and becoming yeah um well you saw some of them some of them are werewolves these guys are like these are just townsfolk that you're fighting but they've gone crazy and they think that you're um a beast AKA the werewolf people. Oh, there's a lot of boyos. Yep. Which is why that axe is really good. It has a very far reach. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Oh no, no, I got wrecked, I got wrecked. Yeah. I don't want your cookies! 
Oh no! <laughs> Man's came from the back. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. With that said, you start at the last lantern you were at, so... Okay, okay. So you didn't lose too much. Oh. The most important freaking thing. Uh, triangle to heal. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. And I'm Basically. guessing with the souls like everybody else comes back once you die. Yeah, yeah. So this guy's um, gonna hit something furniture that again. Does, something that does different is the healing system, though. You don't just get five Estus flasks. Okay. You actually get up to 20 vials that enemies just drop. Naturally. Oh, you're still alive? Homie! <laughs> Remember the lock-on. It'll help you very much. Okay. Come on, buff McGonagall. You can do it. I'm stealthing. That's real. So I don't know if you notice, you just regain some health from there. So, like, af right after you get hit. Right after I get hit? Yeah. You can attack them to regain health. Okay. Okay, so now this checkpoint gets open. Yeah. Go pull the lever. Oh. I know the wizarding world, the doors just open on their own, but I wouldn't do that. The doors open on their own. But that's up to you. Oh, okay, he has a big axe, too. <laughs> No, please. No, please. No, please. <laughs> okay. Dude, you did it. Okay. Fantastic. And you okay. got some more blood vials. Yeet. Yeah, I would recommend always going to a fight with full health, though. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be very viable. But no, as you can see, it's very... It's one of my favorite parts. This is something I love about the game, is the combat system. Oh, my blood it's echoes. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. You're, okay, so blood echoes, it's it's interchangeable for souls here. Um, so, yeah, you can always get your souls back. Um, oh, something that does differ here again from Dark Souls. Yes, you can go up to that door and talk to town folk. I'm that guessing that's changed. like a universal thing, the lantern on. Yeah. Like you can interact with that door. Or... Trot, along, will ya? Trot along, will ya? They're all rude as fuck, dude. You that outsider? He doesn't say anything oh, different. Anything to do with but they're all super you? rude to you. They all hate you for no reason. Oh, you! I don't want to speak to you. You're one of them wizarding folks, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them damn muggles. Damn muggles. They, they hate them wizards. See, again, like, just from that perspective, though, it's just like Professor McGonagall going through with just a giant axe. <laughs> tearing the heads off her enemies. Expelliarmus! <laughs> yeah. Oblivion! <laughs> no, Patronum! <laughs> <laughs> I am used to a wand, but this axe is actually magnificent. I think I'm gonna get this for Hogwarts. Lazy off gun that. <laughs> Away with you. I just got Yo. done making some tea. Oi, fuck off! <laughs> oh, you! The fuck are you? You call me an accursed beast? Yes, they all think they, they they've gone kind of deranged. They think you're a monster. Quicksilver bullet. I haven't even used my gun yet. Nope. You don't necessarily have to. Um. So a little bit of a thing on guns. It's a um. It's, oh, oh. It's for um parrying. Like you can. Again, lock on. Out. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. 
So it does do damage, but it's not going to do much. It's mostly for, um... Is it like for boss oh. fights and parrying and stuff? Yeah, yeah, you can parry. It's not just boss fights, it's pretty much anyone. It's a little hard to get, but like basically, right as they're about to hit you, like if they're doing like a big charge attack, right before they hit you... Uh-oh. Roll. Oh, oh, no. Okay. There we go. Um, Does that happen would, often? Um, it can in certain areas. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't want to tell you too much. I, but part of the fun. Alright, so this part's a little tricky. So here's another thing, you can go through and kill them all if you want, also, oh so carefully, but if I could give some advice, there are times in Soul games where, like, it's viable to kill them and you'd get more blood echoes and stuff, but you can- Oh, fuck! Fuck, 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 If you- Oh yeah, if you hold circle, you do run. Uh oh, did I run out of stamina? I did. Yeah, yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't even, don't even touch me. I, I feel like they all just came to me though. Um, they will if you walk too close to the thing. I have this area just down pat. I will come here and just farm this shit. <laughs> if I, if I need stuff. <laughs> is there, is there any worth it items here? Or? Um, you just get like can blood I just, files and can, stuff, do, but you, you can largely just run past them at the moment. Okay, so if okay. you want to just get past them and not fight them all, save on some time. On the left... No, you're not getting through there. On the left, there's a little drop. Go down, hold circle, and just run towards the stairs. No, no. Oh, run towards the stairs? Yeah. Uh-huh. Keep an eye on the stamina. Yeah. And then just keep running. Eventually, they just stop following you. So, this is the part where I told you it's going to get weird. I do want you to explore it on your own largely, but here's the thing. If you go... Oh, oh, what the... He's still chasing you. How is he still chasing you? They don't usually. I you hear maniacal for... laughing. First off, talk to that guy. He's like one of my favorite ones, I'm pretty sure. Well, you stuck outside on a night of the hunt. I'll use poor, poor thing. So, so moist. I, I look like a, I look like the back of a toad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that guy's just a jerk. Um, hold on a minute. I'm gonna show you something. Oh yeah. Go back up the stairs. You're gonna go right. Right? This way? Yep. Oh. So you see that line of coffins? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So something we're gonna do, we're gonna jump down here. You're gonna go right. Oh, 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 oh shit! Yep, there are doggos. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> well, that was a fun time. Oh, you know what? I just... Uh, no, no, you're gonna go down the stairs for now. Okay. Yep. I don't trust any of you. Oh, shit. <laughs> As you should. Cold blood. Um, it gives you, it gives you echoes. Oh, nice. You're a hunter, aren't ya? Hunter. Hunter. Hunter, aren't ya? <laughs> Would you reckon you get me a cold brew from Starbucks? <laughs> I'm kinda trapped in my house, mate. <laughs> Yes, I'll take a venti mocha swirl. <laughs> so, you're not gonna go down those stairs. You're actually gonna go through them barrels. Through this, right here. Just roll through them, or hit them. Either way, it's very satisfying. 
Oh. So, just gently go down there. Yeah. Now, you're gonna go, uh, right. Right. Not. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Your other right. Go through the barrels, and then there's a little opening there, and you're gonna meet one of my favorite characters. Oi, what you buying? <laughs> Oh, a hunter, are you? <laughs> and an outsider. I'm not just any outsider, I'm McGonagall, bitch. <laughs> I'm buff McGonagall, fam. <laughs> I took too many steroids. <laughs> and now I'm here to wreck your shit. Old hunter's mark. Alright, so that thing will bring you back to any, um... Humans what do you call it? Lanterns. Flesh hungry. Um, alright, so this part's tricky, but you're gonna need to do it if you're gonna level up. So, heal to full. You can knock that down if you want. You have to hit it. And it'll fall. <laughs> nope, nope, you wanted to do that. Okay, In fact, okay. you wanted to do oh! that. Oh, God! Well, you wanted to do that too, just maybe a bit more gracefully. Oh, no. Alright, you're gonna want that item in there. So... Woo! <laughs> okay. All right, so grab that. Man, All right, so nice. press start. I inventory. Inventory. Go down. Is there something coming towards me? I th okay. I okay. thought I saw something too. But. <laughs> <laughs> Am I using it? Oh, watch out. Yeah, use it. No, use it. There you go. Alright, so next, hit start again. Because we're not going to lose your blood echoes. Inventory. Not that's inventory, <laughs> and you're going to use the bold hunter's mark. The bold hunter that Eileen just gave you. Use. So you have two different marks. There's that mark, and then there's the normal mark. The normal mark will bring you back to your last lantern, but you won't be able to keep your blood echoes. This okay. one, you get to keep your blood echoes. Awesome. Hunter garb. Hunter. Ludwig, the first hunter of the healing church. Alright, so you're gonna go back to the hunter stream. Return to hunter stream. Are you ready for a mind explosion? Hell yeah. Oh, you're tall lady? Yeah. Yeah. She's Hello, she's up and hunter. around now. She talks to you. I am a doll. <laughs> Here in this dream, <laughs> <laughs> I was drinking water. <laughs> I never thought of that. It's a little weird. <laughs> I am a doll. Your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you. Oh, okay. okay. I love the shot of the leaves. Channel blood echoes. Yep, that'll. That's your stat level ups. Let the echoes level up stats. Different. Let me stand close. Now shut your Let eyes. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Turn your head and cough. <laughs> 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 um. All right. So you actually have to go over on the pad. Okay. I know you're. Look, I know you're buff McGonagall, but you don't want arcane. Go back. Oh, okay, okay. You don't want that, McGonagall. I know you're used to wizarding and stuff. So, strength will boost you up your defense and, like, your damage, because, like, your weapons are going to be scaling with strength. Yeah, yeah. Um, vitality is vitality, and endurance is endurance. So, basically, these are the three main ones I'm going to yeah, want. Yeah, those are the ones you are definitely going to want. And I'm guessing all this down here is, like, a mage build. Alright, so arcane is mage build. Blood Tinge is cool, there are weapons that scale up off with it, but basically, in short, it's guns. 
Okay. It has to do with fighting with blood, which is pretty cool, but it's pretty hard. And skill is just like dex. It's your dexterity. Okay. So I might, I might, I might, uh, I might you can benefit put some from into getting it. some skill. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It depends on what kind of weapon you're gonna be using and down the line I and think, stuff. I think I'll mostly be using uh, two-handed weapons. I'm guessing for strength. Um. It, it depends. It depends on the weapons. Um, each one scales a little differently. Um, I'm going to be showing you my favorite strength weapon okay, okay. to use. Um, so we'll, <clears> go, eventually we'll go with strength for now, or do or should yeah. we go with endurance? Um, if if I were doing this, I'd put probably one into each at okay, the moment. Okay, okay. All strength isn't bad, but like. All right. So. Confirm. But like that's what I would do. Just try and stay balanced. It's your first time going through. Yeah. So, like, some health and extra stam won't be bad for dodging. So, here you just go back. And then you can talk Farewell, to her, you can leave. Hunter. Oh, it's kind of creepy. find your worth in the waking world. <laughs> the wizarding um, world. You can't. You, you can't. You, oh, oh, what oh, are you doing? Oh. Don't do that. She doesn't care. She doesn't react. But, like, don't do that. I'm sorry. Don't hit her. Be nice. Uh, these, are the, uh, these are the these are the co-op items. Oh, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. if yeah, if we are to do co-op. Old Hunter Bill. Uh, it's an update for DLC and stuff. They give you more characters. Look at this handsome fella. Hey, handsome fella. <laughs> you and McGonagall. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home for now. He has a cane. I am... German friend to you, Hunters. He doesn't know his own name. <laughs> He's the final boss. Now, but don't He's a peg leg? Is that a peg leg? All of this. Yeah, that is a peg leg. Just go out and kill a few beasts. He's in a wheelchair, has a peg leg. Good. He has to be the final you know, boss. Look at him. It's just He's exuding final do. boss energy. <laughs> Peg leg. Cane. Um, yes, by the way, you do have to. That's what I was going to ask stuff. earlier. Four to five. Alright, so you don't have enough of those items. You have one. But there's items you have to get to make your weapon stronger. So pretty much you can have the whole weapon throughout the whole game. Or you can pick up weapons as you go. It is pretty cool. So basically, if you find your weapon, like the one you like, he's just taking a bath. What? The fuck's your problem? Do you have a problem, bro? No, 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 no. <laughs> he's just taking a bath. What's wrong? You went stone silent and just stared at this guy. He's little, taking he's, a bath. He's a little too eager for me. <laughs> I think everyone is. She wants you to stand close and shut your eyes. That guy's taking a bath. And the other guy wants you to use the doll. Uh, she does have dialogue, though. In Welcome all seriousness, home, if you go hunter. and talk to her. What is it you desire? I am lifeless. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago. But now serves only to advise them. He is obscure. Unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. And there you go. Good okay, hunter. okay. May you find your worth in the waking world. Yeah, go get a job. You fucking loser. You fucking go find loser. your worth. Oh, is this like an obstacle course? Yeah, you go run through it and, like, uh, it, you I win a prize at the end. What's the prize? Oh, well, it's it's the messenger bath. You get to watch that guy take a bath for a long time. <laughs> Central Yarnum. <laughs> it gets a little <laughs> intimate, if you will. <laughs> he, he, he likes to hug you. I bet. Just wants hugs. I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> You're sitting there all uncomfortable. You're making me uncomfortable.
Oh no, you just walk over there, he's in a bath, he's rubbing his hands together. <laughs> I don't know, I don't trust it. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> he's already getting the pre-friction going. <laughs> Alright, so do you want to fight a boss? Uh, Does it sound... Yeah, yeah. Does that sound good? Okay, so... Yeah. We're, we're largely going to take um, a similar path here. So... Hey, do you want a shortcut? Oh yeah, I do. This way? Yeah. Just jump down that way. There is a guy there, but like... He's a bitch. Yeah, exactly. He's a bitch. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry, he matters. <laughs> So again, fighting all of them can get tedious. It is certainly up to you. Um. Oh, razzle dazzle, mate. But do keep in mind you can just keep running, if you so please. And you can just pretty much run past everyone. Um. So interesting thing, from what I understand, this game was kind of designed to almost um, almost like a boss rush where you can pretty much just go to bosses. Oh, and yeah. get enough echoes to do the thing. That's not fucking terrifying at all. Go home! Am I going Ooh, down here? Okay, so you're going to... You can't... Yeah, go down here. But here's the thing. You're gonna go to that pile of boys. Well, that's boys. Not fucking morbid at all. Go to the pile of boys. What? What's, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Especially this is your first time, you could maybe use some help. Okay, okay. Oh. Hey. It's a guy. He's yeah. tall. He's quite tall. So he Do just you follows know you. <laughs> the one who should not be named. And Buff McGonagall. Teaming up? Are we going to kill uh, the I big smell, dude? I smell a sitcom. So that's not a boss, that's just a mob, but you can go fight him, he has some cool stuff. It looks like there's two items over just, there. Yep, there is two items over there. All so right. I'd fight him. Alright, sir. Go crush a beer and fuck shit up. He doesn't look too enthusiastic. <laughs> Does he not? <laughs> I keep on forgetting the target. Yeah, so that would be most useful. See, he's very enthused. <laughs> he's still fighting. Oh, I'm gonna bring this guy with me. Look at him. He, mm -hmm. gets, a he gets attached to yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, I can. The ragdoll physics in this are hilarious. So, all right, all right. Where we go going? right. And up the stairs. Oh, I did forget one shortcut, but you'll still be fine to get to the boss. See, you're all like... Oh, Souls games are really hard and stuff, but you're like wrecking this shit. Granted, I'm here guiding you, but like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wrecking this Sometimes shit. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of a push, you know? This is like... Going through labor almost, right? Yeah. You just gotta. Push I, I, I just, you just have to hold my hand. I have to tell you to breathe. All I right. So the here's the thing. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Um, heal. Because um, oh, I should have told you about the. Sh I should have told you about the shortcut. This part's gonna be hard, but you do have Mr. Gascoin here with you. Say Gascoin. Yeah. Oh. Father Gascoigne, that's his name. By the way, who is the architect of this city where, like, they're just planting random statues of just very morbid, sad people? Um, Whose design choice was this? Probably Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar did it? Edgar did it. Fucking Edgar. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot something. Here, press start. Yeah. Go down, all the way. Poke. Poke. Huh? Poke. 
poke it. Poke, poke the Molotov? Yeah. So go back. Now, if you see in the left hand corner, yeah. you can get naked if you wanted. Um, but if you target them oh, and you yeah. hit um, square, it'll throw the Molotov. But as you can see, their health pool's enormous. You're su it's supposed to kind of show you to go find a shortcut and find a way around them, but we didn't do that here, and that's okay. Because you have gas. He's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping! Thanks, gas. All right, so you're probably going to fight. really likes to kill dead bodies. Yes. <laughs> so. Ooh. Boyos. We're not going to fight those boyos yet. Okay. Because okay. I'm going to show you a shortcut because you're going to have to fight oh, this. Oh, uh, <laughs> <wrong one. laughs> You're going to have to come back to this boss a few times, I'm guessing. So go towards your left. Okay. There's going to be a staircase. Oh, yeah. No. Um. No, it's going down. It's hell. Oh shit, I didn't have you grab the torch. Yeah, I grabbed the torch. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay, go. Yeah, yeah, nope, nope, nope. Go over. No. <laughs> You're lucky gas coins here. I don't even have to play the game. <laughs> Just break him a lot. No, he goes away eventually. So press start, go down. No, no, no. Go back up towards your weapons. Go over. Go over. Poke it. Go down. Click. Now, if you go all the way back on the pad, the D-pad, um, press left. There you go. And now you can see. Look at that. Yeah, and there's two door ways to open up here. It's a spooky house. See? Something else was gonna jump out at me, and I was right! <laughs> Wheelchair person! Yeah! Why are we beating up the disabled? They're- <laughs> Cause they're trying to shoot you! Rightfully so! We're in their house! <laughs> You're just a home invader. You are the bad guy, that's the twist. I literally came in here breaking their perfectly placed <laughs> barrels like what the fuck am I stealing their bullets exactly can't take their guns Came um here like the oh, never mind. um never mind up the stairs kill that guy what are you doing that was the wheelchair man's gardener you're a terrible person oh well, the hedges are dead so fuck them <laughs> Go up the stairs. And. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hop away from the gate. That's exactly oh, how you okay. have to do I it. See Put it in the black I, I see it opens up that way. Yep. Uh, so you can level up, or we can just go look at the boss real quick, because no offense, you're probably gonna die. Anyway. Come on now. Come on, no. You're how probably going to access the lamp. You should just have to press X. Is it not letting you? No. Is it because gas coins here? It might be because gas coins. <laughs> Don't do that! Is something wrong? Oh, I threw a Molotov at his window and he says there's something <laughs> wrong. Stop this nonsense, McGonagall. Oh, You're McGonagall, you play your pranks. No, no, go back in the house. Oh, you guys look uh, fun. They are fun, but you see, uh, we're going to go look at a boss, especially this being first episode and stuff. We want to see at least a boss. At least. At least a boss. So, we gotta uh, go fight a boss, the, boys. Beating the boss first try is what I'm about. Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? Enough of the negativity from me. I have faith in you. 
go kill the boss first try. Perfect run, 100% completion. You got this. See, I didn't even take damage though, except for the little bit I did. <laughs> except for the little bit that I may or may not have taken. You can't prove it. Oh. Creepy clock tower in the distance. Big Ben's there. Buckingham Palace yeah. should be near. Oh. Welcome to the first boss. So some people think you don't need to lock on for this boss. I usually lock on to it for dodging. Um, Molotovs are very effective against it. Oh, go up to it, go up to it, and hold the attack button. Oh. So Gascoin can die here. Um, just fair warning, but as you can see, he makes the fight a little easier. They do? Huh? Someone in Discord? Oh, I thought it went boop boop. You're actually gonna beat him on the first try. You've been lying to me. Have you played this game? Were you practicing? I don't know. It's like, when I first played this, I lost a punch and then I rage quit. And you're here just like it's half health. I guess keeping stamina is probably the hardest part. Yeah. Like, now it's not hard for me, but I'm just surprised you're not very accustomed to Souls games. Usually people get really pissed at this boss when it's their first time. Oh, there we go. All right, so from here, um, you can actually... Um, Summon Gascoin again with higher health, you have that um shortcut opened up. Yeah. Um so if you really do need help or if you don't want help, you don't need help. Surprised I got that far. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to learn how to cheese the dogs? Cheese them. Alright, so run up to them, get aggro, get their attention, then you're gonna run back into the house as fast as you can. Yep, run I back to the house. You. Run back to the house. They can't go through um, the door, huh? Yeah, no, they can't go through the door. With that said, there is a guy behind you. There are... There you go. Just mad. <laughs> oh, 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 heal up. Yeah, they can still hit you. It's not that he can't, he just can't get any farther, so you can like poke him. So, like, from here, you'd back up. Now, like, this gives you extra, um, blood echoes, and, um, it actually gives you stuff to upgrade your weapon, so, if you wanted to, if they drop any of that item, 
you could, and you have enough, you can go back and upgrade your weapon to make the boss just a little easier. There's no way. I just fucking has like yeah. zero health. Okay. So more blood vials. Go back. Go back. He, there, there was a mother. Uh -huh. There you go. And then, of course, before any fight, heal up. And I'm guessing that health bar gets bigger. Yeah, oh, well, like your health bar? Yeah, yeah um, you put stuff into vitality and you can level it up. Technically speaking, you can go through this whole game and just not get a bigger health bar, but I don't know why you do that. It doesn't seem to. <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to want to level up the stat for that. But yes, eventually it will get bigger. Okay. Also, something... Yeah. Go on. I was just gonna say, okay. <laughs> and then go in, but you were saying? Um, something I do love about this game, another little tidbit. You notice that throughout the this whole place, there's no music in the background. Yes. It only comes on for boss fights. There's only really music in the Hunter's Dream, certain levels, and boss fights, fights, and usually the music is just over the top, and it's great. Oh, yeah. And I love it. I think it's I've, a I've really heard, good I've heard piece the of design. I've heard this game a few times, and I was like, damn, this is intense. Um, yeah, because they're all boss fight music. All right. Let's Here you we go. Kick his ass! <laughs> 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 Oh, go up to him, and hold in the normal attack button. Oh. Okay, when he's down like that, you go run up to him, like, just, like, stick your face in his face. You just get up in there, and then you hold on to the normal attack button, and it does something called a visceral attack. Um, it's just an attack that does a lot of damage while they're stunned. Oh, hey there, good boy. Come here, baby boy. Probably press the wrong button. So, I do have a question though. Why do you think he's so grumpy? Oh. And Buff McGonagall here is just showing some tough love. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you realize this, you don't have any more uh, Molotovs. You are out of them. I, I, I do feel like that. Because I see that you were trying a couple times to use the action button. What are you doing over there, bud? What are you doing? He's screeching. He's upset. I didn't mean to that button. But you know, healing. Healing's fun. Is it? It usually insinuates that you're dying. You can attack things with the torch, by the way. It's not great, but you can attack things with the torch. Oh, I forgot. I haven't had it fucking... <laughs> Pro. Professional. Are, are you, though? Not at all. Are you a professional? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not even a little. Do you see this shit? <laughs> oh, he just jumped on your head. You're gonna take that? No, I'm, I'm really glad that I healed when I did. Glad that I healed when I did. Don't touch me. <laughs> Stop doing that. 
my dad's a lawyer. And he's gonna sue you. Ministry oh, of Magic's wow. legal affair never go on fucking tame. <laughs> Do you think there's any, like, legal ramifications for when Hagrid turns the little shit kid into a pig? No. There's no, like, legal ramifications? No. Like, he straight up gave him a pig tail. Like, that seems okay. like you're dead. I guess I'll go back and get what this is. Gas coin! Gas coin! Oh, shit, there's a whole drop down. Yeah, you can just see everything. They do a really good job at that in this game, honestly. Um, it's great that way the world actually feels. I can really real. see that this game is not at 60 FPS and it's kind of <gasps> making me fucking. No, it's it's not. It's at um, 30, maybe. It, it no, it is like 30. Um, and fans are actually pretty upset about that. They've been wanting. Um. Oh god, don't. Oh, don't die. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! <laughs> Come on, kill him. <laughs> Everything's fun. Everything's great. Everything's fun. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, Nemesis. No, I forgot. What's up? I forgot. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm doing a bad job at leading you through this. Oh my god, I oh, forgot. Oh, he's a bitch anyway. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> no, he he hurts. <laughs> you just have the strongest weapon in in the first part of the game. <laughs> the ultimate defense. If you can't see him, he can't see you. <laughs> no way! Oh my god! I always find a way. <laughs> so magical. <laughs> oh no! Stealth McGonagall, more like Stealth McGonagall. <laughs> stealth McGonagall, bro. <laughs> Upset? No, no. Everything's perfectly fine. Traverse oh, did you get the item fog. to? Did you get the item to make him so he comes through the fog with you? <laughs> were you trying to fuck with me there? Yeah, a little bit. Son, were, were you trying to fuck with me? I, I was. Did it work? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so they changed it. They actually nerfed Gas Point because there was a point where you brought him in and you could literally just stand there until he beat him. Because he just rammed him into a wall and then basically Cleric Beast did nothing. I'm not kidding. Well, he's he definitely... couldn't do any of his move set. <laughs> if I had done that out of the way there, I would have been gone. <laughs> With that said, gas coin makes this fight ten times easier. Yeah, smack that booty. Just smack that smack it hole on the floor, smack that. We're not singing anymore. Is it copyright? Six seconds. Six. Or is it free real estate? Only six seconds, really? You'd have six seconds of a copyrighted song before you used to get stuck. So, can we just play like a bunch of clips of copyrighted songs, but like only for six seconds here? Over the boss fight? You think he'd do it? You think the editor would do it? I am the editor. You are the editor? Alright, will you do that? My editor got another time. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, yay, but also, oh no. Um, so are you gonna do that then? No. Uh oh. <laughs> Just, 
spoil it. You said six seconds. You spoil a bunch of six seconds. <laughs> Clips in there. You're fine. You're golden. What songs would go good over this music? Uh, Rickroll. You just sing them. We're no strangers to love. You know. I think that was it. <laughs> <laughs> We're no strangers to- A full commitment's what I'm thinking of- <laughs> I don't know, does it count now? Cause we sang it a couple of times. I'm gonna die! Oh. Oh. You're almost there. Come on, man, do it for the funnel cake. <laughs> There's delicious funnel cake at the end of this. Oh, yes. Might as well just throw a pebble at him. Also, another thing you can do in this game, you can throw pebbles. Yes, 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 yes. Can we take a moment to say that you are drenched in blood right now? Isn't blood magic forbidden? Or some shit? To <laughs> <laughs> well, blood both magic. wizards. What's the what's the difference between Harry Potter and Dragon Age? Come on, st yeah, hey! here we go! Killed Cleric Beat, killed your first Bloodborne boss, how do you hey! feel? I need a cigarette. <laughs> Was it good for you? No. Who don't turn? The Rune Workshop Tool. Runesmith Carol. Never Student gonna give you up, <laughs> never gonna let you die. More than six seconds! I don't. keep on trying to do that. Don't. I get scared. <laughs> Welcome home. What is it you desire? You're from Japan, aren't you? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> they have freaky stuff there. <laughs> I think it's no, weird. no, you can see, you can keep going. They give you a lot. I think that's a good. Actually, you know, I'll take two off and put two up. I like that. I like it. Uh, you do want endurance, though. I would actually put some in endurance. It's important. That makes your green bar go up higher, so you can dodge and run around more. Oh, yeah. So definitely do that. Oh, my bar is so big right now. <laughs> left. Left. All right, now walk forward. Like, very carefully. A little bit right. Yep, keep going. Oh, God. No, 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 go back. <laughs> And just maneuver the camera. Oh. oh. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Do the pupils have pupils? Like, How does that work? <laughs> it's eyes on the back of her eyes. They're staring at me. I see now. <laughs> this was the first episode of Favorite Terrain. Where we are playing Bloodborne, and I, uh, I was actually expecting to die a whole lot more, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, no, you did really good. I was expecting, uh, not to, uh, make it through that first boss on the second try, actually. Not, yeah. oh no, third try? Uh, second. Was it second? No, no, third, it third, because you went in, yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, did yeah, it yeah. the first time, you went in it, would try it without the help, and then you ended up grabbing some help. Awesome, awesome. But yeah, we uh, we got we got past the cleric beast, and next time we will be doing whatever is after this. <laughs> yeah, no, there's another boss within the first area, so um, I hope you're not too mad. At, um, cleric beast is technically an optional boss. Yeah, you well, I mean don't it's, it's have a good to do first it, but boss, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, so, but it's good to see. It gets you a little bit extra blood echoes for um, the for for the 
second boss, first technical man, first mandatory boss, first mandatory boss. Yeah. But with that, we will see you next time, and have a great day. See you later. Bye.